Hello my gorgeous loves out there and welcome. In today's video, I wanted to play with some of my favorite Oud & Sai products, create a look, hang out with you guys for a little bit and just have a more casual video talking about life, holiday plans, things like that. But before we get into this video, if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Brie and I'm just a crazy lover of all things beauty and I like to post a lot of fun, colorful makeup content. I like to do a lot of indie makeup. So if that is what you're into, then please hit that subscribe button and join this little family. But with that being said, let's get into this video. Alright my sticker doodles, I finally decorated, I put some Christmas decor on the background, I'm still decorating my living room and all that but I'm getting there, I finally got a Christmas tree today and after this video I'm going to go put up Christmas lights up outside, I'm just getting very festive in the holiday spirit so I'm having a good old time this weekend, it's been so fun and chill and like Christmassy and I love it but I wanted to get into some of my Oud & Sai favorites, now I know this video is going up after after the sale has already ended for Black Friday and Cyber Monday, but I know that a lot of you shop the sale, so I thought maybe I could inspire you, maybe give you some look ideas and get you excited for your goodies that are coming in the mail. And I just wanted to play with these, honestly. I love these products. So I'm gonna get a little closer and we're just gonna jump right into the look. Let me put my hair back. My hair is needing some attention it looks like a hot mess but we're going to ignore it and i need to get some eye primer i'm gonna use the give me glow primer and parchment i think this was like on a super sale on give me glow but i don't know when this video is going up so i'm not sure if the sales are going to be over by the time you guys see this but i know like the sales were running really long and like super extensive like the deals on a lot of sites were really good and a little overwhelming, I'm gonna admit. I felt like I just wanted to buy everything and that's the danger of Black Friday sales. It makes you feel this need to spend even though you weren't like planning to or planning to get certain items and then you're like, ooh, mega 40% off, maybe I need to get that. And oh, I don't know, I kinda want the sales to just be over with so I can stop being tempted to pick up anymore because I've already spent a lot of money. I don't know if you guys are feeling like burnt out and overwhelmed by these sales and all of the things that are going on. I don't know, consumerism is thriving, okay? <laughs> Anyways, so I'm gonna get into these cheek products. Yeah, let's do my cheek products. I already did my foundation and everything. That will all be linked below in case you're curious on what's on my face and my brows. But for cheeks, I want to start off with the Elva Flower Blusher. Now these products are already discontinued, but they do still have like blushes on their website. But this like range is gone, which I'm so sad. I love these, but I'm gonna use the shade called Sweet Tulip. It's a really pretty, more of a cool tone shade. I'm going for, I think, a more cool tone purpley look today, which I've been wearing purple a lot lately. <laughs> I go through phases where like I only want to wear green and then I only want to wear purple and then I only want to wear um, blue. Like that just happens to me, but those are like the colors that I love to wear all the time. But anyways, do you guys see how pretty this is? And it has a little bit of a sheen. These are like sad blushes. I don't know why they discontinue these, but I'm sure it means just new things are coming, new collections, so they have to kind of make space. But these are so good. I love to just drape blush everywhere in my face. I'm just a lush for blush, as I always say. And I love a little blushy moment on the nose. I don't know, I guess I want to look like I'm a little sunburnt maybe mimic like I've actually been out in the sun and it's actually sunny today it's been super gloomy in Texas for like three days straight and finally the sun came out over the weekend so I'm very happy for that okay anyways let me clean up because I always go overboard with my blush now I want to top this blush even though it has a beautiful natural sheen but I want to go over with the Solone Sunlight Love Blusher and Rose Love and this is a product you can still get on their website they haven't discontinued this this is fairly new so I don't know I hope they don't ever discontinue this because it's so beautiful it's like a sheeny pink blush which I've been using this alone as well as a blush topper, but do you guys see how shiny that is? And it's super smooth. There's no like visible shimmer in this or like glitter particles and it just puts such a beautiful glow. And honestly with this on the face, I don't really need to use highlighter, but because I wanna be extra today <laughs> and use some of my highlighters from Udin's Eye, I'm like, nah, we're gonna be extra glowy today. And I do not care, no Fs given today. <laughs> 
So let me put some here. Yeah. We're getting extra with it. I'm gonna be like beaming pretty soon. Well, pretty soon, I'm already beaming. <laughs> what am I talking about? Anyways, so now let's get even more highlighted and I'm gonna go over that with the Udensai Somone Moonlight Feel Highlighter, which is also something you can still get on their website. This is a beautiful like purpley lavender highlighter. And because I wanna do like a purpley blue look today, I was like, this is gonna be perfect. These are so pretty. I picked up some other shades during the sale. I got two more. So I'm very excited for those to come in because I really, really like these. They're so pretty. Do you see that? It gave like a little bit of blue, but I feel like it's not so extreme where it's like not wearable, at least in my eyes, not wearable because I'm not used to wearing like more colored like highlighters like this, but I actually think it like melts into the skin beautifully and it just gives a little bit of a purple to it it's really pretty oh it's so pretty and so sheeny i'm gonna look like the purple tin man at this point <laughs> so i'm just putting here everywhere on my entire existence and i'm just going to use this powder brush well not powder brush this brush that i use to put on concealer to try to tone it down that's what i usually do i go overboard and then i go in and i correct the overboardness <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, okay. I think that looks okay. I can't really tell in the monitor. But I think I look cute. I need some lip balm because my lips are so dry right now. I'm gonna go in with this Nabla Lip Viper. Surprisingly, I didn't shop the sale from Nabla this year, which I plan to, but I just, I spent my money everywhere else. So by the time I got to Nabla's website, I didn't have any money left. <laughs> well, I mean, I have money left, but I just didn't feel like spending anymore. Okay. Oh yeah. This is supposed to be really hydrating. It has a plumping effect, so you can feel quite a strong tingle, but it doesn't hurt. It's a very nice hydrating lip plumper. Now let's get into an eye look. I'm gonna use two palettes today. I'm gonna go on with the Sol Mone 2 palette, which this is like my most favorite palette from Udin's Eye. It's gorgeous. And so many people picked this up because it's already sold out on their website. Like so many people must have wanted this. And then I'm gonna also use the Heya palette. This was the collab with Angelica Nikovis. Also really beautiful. And I feel like I could pair these together and create a stunning look. So that is the goal today. And the last time I checked, the Heya palette was low in stock and they did 40% off on it and I was surprised because they normally don't discount their collab palette so that was such a good deal but anyways let me get a brush let me find a decently clean brush this will do this will do so I want to do purple blue smoky that's the vision so I want to start off with the Soul Money 2 palette and go into Galaxy Use that on the outer corner. It's such a beautiful, like, deeper, warm purple. So, anyways, what is going on with you guys? Does anyone have holiday plans? Or are you keeping it, like, super chill, super low-key, not doing anything crazy? I don't know. I want to hear you guys. I want to hear what you got going on. I have a little bit of plans. I have Casey's mom visiting. She's so cool. Such a wonderful person. So, she's going to be here actually next week. She's coming for the first week of December just to avoid like the craziness in the airport. She don't wanna really fly during like Christmas time cause it's crazy in the airport and it was just better for our schedule. So she's gonna visit us, you know, have a little family time, hang out with us. So I'm trying to get the whole house decorated before she gets here cause she really is into Christmas like I am. And last year we were at her house for Christmas and she like decorated everything, got us Christmas pajamas. The guest room that we stayed in was all Christmas decorated. So I'm trying to do the same for her, like give her back what she gave us. And I think I'm doing a pretty good job. I already have stuff for the bathroom, like the guest bathroom. I ordered a shower curtain. I picked up like towels, a little mat with like snowflakes on it. It's so cute and I actually got comforter like sheets and everything that has snowflakes on it that matches like what my decor is in the living room so hopefully she likes the decorations when she gets here anyways that is happening she'll be here that would be really nice um i'm gonna go into the nebula shadow yeah i'm gonna go to the nebula shadow now in the Simone palette and i'm gonna use that just on the outer corner 
So that's happening. And then I'm actually traveling a little bit in December. The week before Christmas, I'm actually going to Washington, which I think I might have mentioned this before, but we're going to like meet my sister in Spokane with her wife. That's where her family is. So we're meeting there. And then we're actually taking a three hour drive and we're going to this little Christmas town called Leavenworth which is supposed to be a barbarian style town so it's a german town and they're really known for like going over the top but like the christmas decorations and like the whole city is just a christmas village so i'm very excited about that i'm so into christmas so i think i'm really gonna enjoy that and we're just gonna you know do all the christmas things i think we're gonna go to like a reindeer Thing, like a reindeer petting zoo or something like that we'll probably have some good German beers eat some good food and my other sister too is coming so be both my sisters their spouses me and my spouse it's just gonna be a whole little family event so I'm excited now let me do my lower lash line I think I'm gonna match everything up that I've got up here in the crease for now I'm gonna go back into the Purple Galaxies shade in the Simone palette. Just run that down here. I don't know, I'm kind of winging it like usual. I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I just knew I wanted it to be cool tone, purpley and blue. So I'm just putting the blue out here and matching it up to the outer corner. Okay, it's looking really dark. I feel like I took the dark purple a little too far in, which I always do. So I'm gonna need to brighten up the inner portion. But I'm gonna go into the Heya palette now and go into the shade called Heya. It's a light pink. I thought that would actually look really pretty on the edge of the purple. Give it some warmth and some pinkiness. I was gonna use the lavender shade, but I think pink also blends really well with purple and blue. So I'm gonna do that up here. And I'll probably do it at the bottom. Just get everything softened up and not looking so harsh as I feel like I need to work on some of this blend that I have back here on this corner. Anyway, so that's happening. We're gonna be up there for like five days. And then I come back like a couple of days before Christmas and then it will just be me and my boyfriend here in the house on it like actual Christmas. But that's how it usually is for us. Even though last year we did go to his mom's, but normally it's just me and him at home because you know we live away from our family so we're used to that we normally just you know put on all the christmas lights make something to eat like make some kind of christmasy meal watch christmasy movies and chill and i actually like it that way because sometimes like you know you just want to chill and relax and when you have people over you gotta host and entertain or if you have to go to people's houses you have to like you know get ready and be out on the road and just like you know doing a lot of interacting which can also be exhausting or if you have kids you know i'm sure you're like prepping a lot for kids and all that and i know that the holidays too can also be a very rough time for a lot of people especially if maybe you lost a loved one going through a breakup going to be alone for the first time or going to be alone again like things like that that's why i try really hard for my channel to be a positive space and for people not to feel alone like we're in this all together because i have times where i get really sad during the holidays especially you know not having my mom here she was really big into christmas so i get moments where I get really sad um but you know what we're all in it together I just want you guys to know that just know I'm here from the bottom of my heart I just want people to feel like they're not alone <laughs> anyways I went on kind of a spiel here but I want to now go on to some other shades I do feel like maybe I need to bring a little bit of the blue on the outer corner I feel like it looks just a little messy so I'm gonna go back into Nebula in the uh Simone palette and just snap it out here I don't know, I feel like maybe it was looking a little patchy. Just bringing the color back because I feel like it kind of blended it out and diffused it a lot. And so now let's get into some shimmers on the lids. I want to get into the Heya palette and I want to use the complete shade. It's so beautiful. It's my favorite shade in the palette. It's like a metallic black. Maybe use a little bit of this in the inner portion and then maybe I could take the lavender shade in the Simone palette and use that as my inner corner highlight. I think that would look really pretty. So I'm going to just take this brush. I'm going to pick up the complete shade right here and just 
pick that up. It picks up really well on a brush. It's nice and creamy and smooth. And I'm gonna wet it so we can avoid a fallout. I probably should put glitter glue on, but I'm feeling lazy right now. And honestly, I'm not going anywhere. So it doesn't have to be extra perfect, but I'm just gonna use that closest to the deep blue. Oh, that shade is so special. It's so hard to find like a metallic black like this and it has like little silver specks throughout. I love using this shade. It looks beautiful like with like a dark green through the crease and do like a dark green smoky look, a smoky purple, smoky blue. Oh, you can do so much with this. You can even use it with crunchy shades and it looks absolutely stunning. I know a lot of people like stay away from dark metallics on the lids, but I live for them. But anyways, guys, what are your guys' plans? I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Are you doing anything? Are you not doing anything? Like, what are your like holiday traditions? Have you already decorated? I would love to hear from you guys. I really, really enjoy reading the comments and hearing your feedback, talking back and forth with you guys about makeup, about life. It just... It's the best part of being on YouTube is talking with you guys in the comments. I do have a little fallout, so hopefully I don't have any staining. But yeah, tell me what is up. Also, did you guys do any Black Friday shopping? Cause like I said in the beginning, your girl spent way too much money on these Black Friday sales. But I'm gonna go into the River Shade right here, which is a beautiful like shifty shade, which is gonna look so pretty in the inner corner. This one's a little bit more flaky, but it's so shifty. I'm gonna wet that one too. And I'm just spraying water on it. That's what's in the bottle. And this is just gonna add some brightness. Oh, that is so pretty. That is so, so, so pretty. I love that shade as well. It's probably like my second favorite in the palette besides the lime green one. And I think that looks really good. Just like spreading that on and trying to fuse it a little bit into the complete shade but they complement each other like really well okay and now let's get into the inner corner highlight which is this meteor shade that's in the solmone palette these work so well together i knew that they would these are all such pretty colors uh, these palettes just go so well together. I knew that they were going to. This is such a beautiful lavender and metallic. And I'm gonna wet the brush again. I almost sprayed myself in the face, oh my gosh. And I'm gonna just stick that right there. Get a little brightness and a little bit of lavender. Oh, this is such a beautiful metallic. Uh, uh, uh. I love all these shades. So I'm just gonna fuse it a little bit in the front and just Bring it a little bit down at the bottom too. So that is it for the eye look. I'm not gonna put on any more shadows. I'm really happy where this is at. I love the smoky shades in the lids, but now I wanna put on a lippy. So I'm gonna go in with this lip liner from It's Bell Cosmetics from their Best of May collection. I don't know what shade this is, but I'll link it below. I'm gonna use that to line and just get like a pinky, a pinky lip going on. These are nice, they're wood pencils. They're a little bit more on the stiff side, but they do last really well on the lips. So now I'm going to go into the Uden's Eye Elva Cream Lip Stain in Little Jasmine. This also sold out during the sale, which I thought was crazy. But I know a lot of people love this product. It's so good, it's such a beautiful like nudie shade. And it's so pretty and glossy, I love this formula. And it smells like great candy, which is also really amazing. Ah, oh, these are so good. I'm just putting that all over. All right, so there's my lippy. Isn't it pretty? It's such a nice color, so nice and glossy. So I wanna do one more step with you guys before I go off camera and finish the look. So I'm gonna go into the Solmone Gel Liner in number 10. This is a metallic light blue shade. I'm gonna put that in the waterline. These are actually pretty good. Now I like the more opaque ones better than the metallic ones. I feel like these ones, you kinda of have to layer them up a little bit more to get them to show. But the like solid color ones are really, really good. This one just takes a lot more work to get to show up, but I can make it get there. I just have to like run it over like several times, but I'm still happy with these. They're not that expensive either. I think they're like $5 or very affordable. 
So I was able to get the liner to show up. It's just the metallic ones are a little bit more sheer, but I wanna make it more intense on the like light blue end. So I wanna go back into the Simone palette and go into the shade called Soft Cloud and just tap that on top of it. You can do this so like with a liner and just go in with like a shadow on top. It definitely works. So I'm just tapping that there. Cause I really want that light blue to stand out. Yeah, see how like pigmented that is and how you can just brighten up the waterline with a little shadow over the liner. It's such a cool little trick. Okay, there we go. It's nice and bright and blue in the waterline. So now I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna do my liner, mascara, all that fun stuff. And I will be right back to show you guys the completed look and wrap up this video. All right, my loves, I am back and here's the completed look. I just love how beautiful and purple and blue and smoky this is. And I feel like these two palettes pair so nicely together. Like they're beautiful little companions. Now, of course, each of these are standalone. You can do completed looks with either one, but they complement each other really, really well. And I love both of these palettes. Now, all I did off camera was I went in with the LA Girl Jet Setter Liquid Eyeliner. I just recently purchased this and I've been really really enjoying it it's a nice nice affordable eyeliner and I went in with the beauty for real high def mascara and I tight line with the trusty pencil and that is all I did I didn't put any falsies on I didn't feel like putting on false lashes I think my lashes and everything look fine I love the look the lippy the cheeks everything looks really really pretty but I had so much fun playing with some of my favorite products from Uden's Eye they are such a good brand I feel like a lot of people are getting into their stuff and I know a lot of you love this brand as well and have picked up a lot of things from them because they're just so good and they deserve all the hype all the attention and I'm just so excited by this brand like I look forward to all of their releases because they always come out with really cool innovative collections their themes and everything are so beautiful and well executed and it just such such a good brand i love them so so much and i had so much fun talking about my holiday plans with you guys letting you know what's up and i'm sure you guys realize i'm quite nosy because i asked you guys a lot of questions so i want to hear from you guys in the comments below what's going on with you what is your favorite Oud Inside products what are you doing for the holidays i love chatting with you guys in the comments below also if you are new here and you enjoy this video you like a lot of fun and colorful makeup content you like a lot of stuff in indie makeup then please hit that subscribe subscribe button and join this little family. I'd love to have you here. Also, don't forget to check out the description below. I will have all the products I used today linked and the rest of my face makeup linked in case you're curious on what I'm wearing for like foundation and all of that. I will also link other Udin's Eye videos that I have done if you want to see more in-depth reviews on their palettes, swatches, looks, like things like that. They will all be linked below as well as my contact and my social media platforms. I'm also on Instagram as Breezy Lifestyle and Breezy underscore beauty and I do post a lot of different content there as well so i would love for you to join my instagram fam but guys thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video for being here for supporting me being amazing i hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season so far and i'm just sending you guys all so much light and love but until next time bye guys mm -hmm.